What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create teams for your tycoon in Roblox Studio. To get right into that we're just going to go straight over to this team service right here inside the explorer window and we're going to click on the plus icon to the right of it and we're just going to add in a team. Now we're going to name this team the red team or whatever you want to name this just make sure it has actually it doesn't even need a color you can name it the octopus team you can name it the dog team it doesn't really matter what team you want to name it as long as it has a name after that we want to set the team color this will be the little i guess stripe you could say inside of the leader stats that will let the player know what team color they're on so i'm going to set the team color for the red team over to a really red color like this and then we can copy this team and duplicate it by pressing ctrl and d and then let's rename this one to the blue team and setting the team color to blue. Let's continue on to the green team. Let's go ahead and change the team color to green and then duplicate it one more time for the yellow team, just like this. And we set the color to yellow. And last but not least, let's duplicate it one more time and rename it to the unclaimed team you don't need to add the team to it because it's not necessarily a team it's just where all of the players with the unclaimed tycoons will be now we change the team color of this to a kind of boring grayish color like ghost gray or something like that that's usually a good color for these types of things and now we can get inside of our actually scripting up the teams in order to do that, we want to make sure we have the model tab right up here open and then we want to click on the spawn button in the top right. And what this will do is we'll add in a brand new spawn location roughly wherever our camera is pointing. Inside of the properties, we want to go down and set the size to something like 4, 0 0.5, 4. And this will make sure that we have a tiny little spawn point for our tycoon and you can drag it wherever you want to. I'm going to put mine personally right next to the cash collector right about here. After that you change the brick color to whatever color matches your team. This is the red team so I'm just going to make sure it's a red spawn point. And then down here at the very bottom of our properties, down in the team section, we should be able to change neutral to false and then the team color will be the same color that we set our team to. So in this case it is really red. And if you'd like to, you can also get rid of the force field duration. That'll just make sure that a player does not spawn with spawn invincibility. I'm just going to make that last about three seconds or so. After that, you name this to spawn and then drag drop into your tycoon and then tycoon and then our main items folder inside of our tycoon. Then we just go into our scripts, core script, open this up, go all the way down to this function right here our main items and owner door function and then right before this line where we fire the event to claim our tycoon we just want to go ahead and say player dot team equals to game get service quotation marks teams and then we're going to say dot red team just like this if you have a space in the name of your red team, you should you should wrap it in brackets and parentheses. Otherwise, Roblox should already do it for you if you use their auto correct feature. Now we can X out of the core script and that should be working flawlessly. Now for our normal spawn location right here on the ground, we want to make sure that we set the neutral to false as well and then the team color to the same unclaimed team colors before which was ghost gray so we're gonna leave it just like that and before we play it we just want to make sure that in all of our teams right here except for the unclaimed team we want to make sure we set auto assignable to false i'll just make sure that the player can't automatically spawn onto a team now we can click on play and see what happens so when we join in, we'll spawn on this original spawn location and we'll spawn on the unclaimed team. However, if we go and claim our red team, we will swap over to the red team right here. And if we are to reset my character here, you'll see I will respawn on this red spawn location because I'm on the red team. If you'd like to duplicate this to all the rest of your tycoons, all you have to do is change that simple line of code that I gave you to change the team from the red team to whatever the name of is of your other teams 
and you just need to add this spawn location into those other teams. So now that we've got our tycoon with the spawn location inside of here, we just wanna make sure we duplicate this, move it over to server storage, and then delete our old tycoon that we had in server storage. And if you would like to repeat this process with the teams for all of your other tycoons, you can simply duplicate the spawn location, make sure it's parented to the right tycoon, which in this case, it would be tycoon two, and that one's main items, and you can change the color to blue, and the team color to blue as well. And then you just gotta simply change the script inside of the core script down here. Once again, you just wanna come right before this line and we say player.team equals to game get service teams dot blue team. And that will just set the player's team to the blue team. And you pretty much just repeat this process for every single other tycoon that you have. After that, we just make sure we duplicate this tycoon once again into server storage, delete the old one, and we are good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video just as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.